my dear friends uh, welcome to my session uh, in this session i am going to explain for loop in c language as we have uh, seen in our previous uh, session that there are three types of loops what is called while loop second one is do while loop and third one is for loop so in this class i am going to discuss for loop for loop is a very important loop and it is used when we know in advance how many times the body of the loop has to be executed so that is what the importance of for loop sometimes we will be knowing uh, the body of uh, any loop has to be executed uh, some particular number of times in such cases we prefer to use for loop rather than while loop or do while loop so those while loop and do while loops are used when we do not know how many times the body of the loop has to be executed but in case if we know uh, that number of times we need to execute body of the loop we are going to use this for loop in c language the syntax of the for loop for within parentheses initialization semicolon condition semicolon updation then within pair of curly braces we use statements statement one statement two like that any number of statements we can use that we call it as body of the loop sometimes the body of the loop in for loop can contain only one statement also whereas in while loop and do while loop we need to remember that one statement cannot be body of the loop there it must be a compulsory compound statement whereas for for loop we can use only one statement suppose if we need to use more than one statement then we will make it a compound statement by enclose them enclosing them within pair of curly braces so as we know every loop must have three things a loop variable initialization loop condition and loop updation so here for is the keyword within parentheses we separate this initialization condition and updation by semicolon which is very important please note at the end of uh, this right parentheses we don't use semicolon then body of the loop containing one or more statements and we say body of the loop is executed as long as the condition is true once the condition becomes false the control comes out of loop that is to the next statement in sequence so this is what I explained here initialization is the loop variable that has to be initialized in the beginning condition is the test condition which evaluates to true or false and body of the loop is executed as long as the condition is true once the condition becomes false the control comes out of loop and updation is either incrementation or decrementation depending upon the condition uh, to make the condition false uh, to come out of loop at any point of time here is the flow chart for for loop so we use an extended hexagon within that we write for within parentheses initialization semicolon condition semicolon updation so if the condition is true then one or more statements represented here will be executed see control comes back control comes back that is when the last statement of body of the loop is executed then this updation updation is carried out then after updation the condition is verified if the condition is true once again body of the loop means these statements are executed then updation then condition if condition is true execute statement so this is repeated this is repeated this body of the loop for loop is repeatedly executed as long as the condition is true once the condition becomes false you see the control comes out of for loop here is uh, one example uh, to illustrate the use of 
uh, for loop to count the numbers from 1 to 100 or to display the numbers from 1 to 100. Say this is the comment counting from 1 to 100 which is enclosed within pair of slash star and star slash hash include stdiver.h is the preprocessor directive which permits to make use of standard input output devices void main then opening parenthesis closing parenthesis then see within this pair of curly braces we use declaration part and execution part here we use one variable called count so variable count is declared as of type integer then here comes for loop for within parenthesis see loop variable is count so count is initialized to one count assigned a value one semicolon loop condition count is less than or equal to 100 semicolon count plus plus printf within a pair of uh, double quotes we use percentage d backslash n comma this percentage d is the format specifier or format character that will be substituted by the list of variables used here we have only one format character of type integer so here in list of variables we have used only one variable count which is of type integer okay so here we can observe that we know that we need to count from 1 to 100 that means we know well in advance that body of the loop has to be executed 100 times that's why we prefer to use for loop here so 100 times this body of the loop here only one statement is used i said body of the loop can be one statement or more than one statement in case more than one statements are there they must be enclosed within pair of curly braces that is we have to make it a compound statement so this statement or body of the loop is executed as long as the count value is less than or equal to 100 every time body of the loop is executed then count value is incremented by one so first time it is one then print one then count plus plus means count becomes two then condition is true because two is less than or equal to 100 then print in place of percentage count two then count plus plus count becomes three so come uh, control comes back to condition so count is less than or equal to three three is less than or equal to sorry hundred condition is true then print value of count that is three then count plus plus four like that it goes on when count becomes hundred and count becomes hundred see the condition count is less than or equal to hundred yes still the condition is hundred true then print in place of percentage count value 100 then count plus plus means count becomes 101 now the condition count is less than or equal to 100 no 101 is not less than or equal to 100 so condition becomes false so control comes out of loop this is how the for loop is executed this we can illustrate through uh, turbo c compile here the same code segment is copied here in turbo c compiler say counting from 1 to 100 hash include stdio.h void main so count variable is declared clear screen so to clear the previous contents of the screen we use this function say for count as and value 1 count is less than or equal to 100 count plus plus printf percentage d comma count here in place of percentage d value of count every time will be printed let us see what will be the output compile then run see here the numbers are displayed from 1 to 100 this is how we can use for loop to display the numbers from 1 to 100 so next we shall see one more example to illustrate for loop in c language program to find the factorial of a given number so here this is the comment program to find the factorial of a given number comment is a non-executable statement uh, preprocessor directive hash include stdio.h void main every c program execution begins with main then pair of curly braces within that constitutes body of the program which contains two parts declaration part and executable part so the declaration part has uh, uh, three variables we have declared three variables n then factors and value one i so n fact and i are the three variables declared as of type integer so 
so now the memory is reserved for these three variables once the variables are declared memory is reserved so it informs the compiler to reserve the memory for three variables you can observe here that variable fact is uh, initialized with value one during declaration itself so that's why you can here observe that fact is initialized with one and n and i so here see printf enter the number so because it is a printf whatever is enclosed within double quotes that will be displayed on the screen of course backslash n is not displayed on the screen because it is escape sequence means it brings the cursor to the next line scanf i have told you every scanf should be preceded by printf this is for our convenient purpose only not mandatory okay so now scanf is input statement formatted input function we have format character here percentage d comma ampersand n n is the input variable here we have one input so here when this scanf statement is executed we give input 4 so n value is 4 that means we are required to find out the factorial of 4 so our input is 4 so that input we have read through scanf statement so now actual for loop begins here for i assigned a value 1 i is less than n i plus plus here i is loop variable initialization i less than or equal to n is loop condition and i plus plus is loop updation then body of the loop here is fact assigned a value fact star i now i value is initialized to 1 you can observe here i value is initialized to 1 means i value is 1 then condition is i less than or equal to n see i value 1 n value is 4 so 1 is less than or equal to 4 so condition is true then execute body of the loop so what is body of the loop fact assigned a value fact star i what is the current value of fact here we have initialized it to 1 so current value of fact is 1 then multiplied by i what is the value of i 1 so 1 into 1 that will be the new value of fact so new value of fact will be 1 which is shown in red color here so because this is last statement of body of the loop then control comes back to updation i plus plus now i becomes 2 i becomes 2 then immediately condition is verified is i less than or equal to n so 2 is it less than or equal to 4 so condition is yes yes means execute body of the loop here body of the loop is only single statement fact assigned a value fact star i what is the current value of fact 1 what is the current value of i 2 so 1 into 2 will be the new value of fact so new value of fact is 2 because this is last statement of body of the loop i plus plus i plus plus means i value becomes 3 immediately condition is verified is i less than or equal to n means is value of i 3 less than or equal to value of n 4 yes 3 is less than 4 so condition is true then execute body of the loop so fact is equal to fact star i so now fact we have 2 and i value is 3 so 2 into 3 6 will be the value of fact then after last statement of body of the loop i plus plus so i becomes 4 then is i less than or equal to n yes 4 is equal to n condition is true then fact and value fact star i so current value of fact is 6 current value of i is 4 so 6 into 4 24 will be the new value of fact then this is the last statement of body of the loop i plus plus now i becomes 5 that is 4 plus 1 5 then immediately after last statement updation i plus plus uh, sorry i plus plus 4 i value is 5 now immediately condition is verified is i less than or equal to n so is value of i 5 less than or equal to n no 5 is greater than n so that means this condition now becomes false when the condition becomes false control comes out of for loop so out of for loop means next statement in sequence is printf statement so this printf statement is executed see in new line backslash n factorial of percentage d is equal to percentage d first percentage d red color corresponding to that after comma we have red variable n 
second percentage d is green color after comma we have green variable fact that means in red percentage d value of n that is 4 is displayed in place of green percentage d value of fact that is final value 24 is displayed so that's why this printf statement displays factorial of 4 is equal to 24 so that will be your output let us execute the same program using turbo compiler so here the same program is typed program to find the factorial of a given number is a comment this is preprocessor directive void main within pair of curly braces variable declaration three variables are declared clear screen no clears the previous content of the screen then print f enter the number scan f percentage and percent n you have to give input for n that means in our case it is 4 for i s and level 1 i is less than or equal to 10 means 4 4 times your body of the loop is executed every time value of i is incremented by 1 i plus plus we have used so factors and value fact star i print a factor of percentage d is equal to percentage d n comma fact so let us compile it let us run it let's see what is the output see enter the number so in printf statement we had enter the number so it is displayed as it is you can observe here that backslash n is not displayed so the backslash n causes the cursor to be brought to the next line so in the next line so when the scanf statement is executed we have to give the input now until we give the input it is waiting it is displaying the cursor and waiting for the input so that is what scanf statement so scanf statement causes uh, the cursor to be displayed and waits for input so in our case input is 4 means n value is 4 means we want to find out factor of 4 now for loop is executed when for loop is executed so four times it is executed computes and displays come when the control comes out displays the value factorial of percentage d is equal to percentage d is there so factor of in place of first percentage d n value 4 is equal to in place of second percentage d that was displayed in green color so value of final value of fact 24 is displayed so this is what the output so you can once again if you want you can execute it suppose if you give now i am going to give input 5 so n value is 5 now see factor of 5 is equal to 120 so this is how you can use uh, the for loop to uh, execute body of the loop when we know how many times it has to be executed so next comes nested for loops so nested for loop means using one for loop within another for loop it is called nested for loop so if one for loop is used within another for loop we can call it as nested for loops so example you can see here for i s and value 0 i is less than n i plus plus then body of the loop between these two pairs of curly braces so within that you can observe that this is the body of the loop now the body of the loop we have one more for loop see for j s and value 0 j is less than m j plus plus so this is inner for loop this is outer for loop the body corresponding to inner for loop is enclosed within these two pairs of curly braces c of ij assigned a value a of ij plus b of ij terminated by semicolon every statement in c language should be terminated by semicolon now you can observe that one for loop is completely enclosed within another for loop and the very important point to be noted here is the loop variable must be different for different loops see for outer for loop we have used loop variable i for inner for loop we have used loop variable j this is how the loop variables must be different for different for loops and here we have one level of nesting like this you can have any level of nesting nested for loops and especially these nested for loops are used uh, to discuss matrices that is two dimensional arrays then we come across these uh, nested for loops so this is about uh, the for loops